And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. With the new Joker movie soon coming out, I thought I should make a video on one of the weirdest versions of the character, that being Batman's mother? I'm sure you're curious on how this happened, so stick around to find out. So, it all started when Barry Allen, aka The Flash, attempted to save his mother from being murdered by traveling back in time. However, this little change was enough to completely screw up the entire timeline, changing the DC universe from what we're used to. In the Flashpoint universe, Bruce Wayne's parents never died. It was him that died instead. Like his son in the main DC universe, Thomas Wayne, Bruce's father, tried to cope with the grief by fighting crime as the Batman in order to make sure that nothing like this would happen again. However, handling the grief wasn't as easy for his wife, Martha. Being as depressed as she was, her husband tried to make her smile again, but I think she kinda took it the wrong way and decided to cut her cheeks in a way that resembles a smile. Her first criminal act was killing her dear Alfred. After that, she was locked up in an asylum, but eventually broke out and started using the name Joker. She even got herself a Harley Quinn, though in this universe she's called Yo-Yo, and I guess you understand what her main weapons are. This Joker crippled Catwoman, tricked Commissioner Gordon into killing a girl, then killed him, and so became her own husband's arch nemesis. At some point, she's confronted by Batman, who tells her that there is a way to bring their son back to life, but they'd have to die instead. In a moment of clarity, she agrees, but when she finds out that if their son lived, he would become the Batman like his father, she goes insane and supposedly falls to her death. However, it turned out she survived the fall and continued her criminal acts, but she was stopped by the Batman once more. She is now being taken care of by her husband, who has locked her up in the Batcave and tries to rehabilitate her himself. So I guess that's the end for the Joker and the beginning of Martha Wayne's new life. Well, that's all, folks. This was a story of how Martha Wayne became the Joker. I hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and allow all notifications. As always, I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments, and until the next time, goodbye, true believers!